Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with the bonus love read. This reading is going to be for the sign of Pisces. So fishies, if you really want to know whoever it is that you love and you really want to know if they also love you back or not, then this reading is definitely going to help you know the answer to that. We will be taking some messages from your person as well in this reading so stay tuned and before i dive into the read let me remind you it is a general read it may and it may not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the signs and messages that resonates and leave the rest for personal reads you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also check out other services that i offer as well so fishies let's see whoever it is that you have on your mind that you really love and you really want to know do they love you too let's find out do they do they love you too let's see <clears throat> the chariot um this connection seems to be um divine i feel like you know you and this person whoever it is that you're dealing with you and them are eventually going to come together. Um, the divine has been protecting this connection and will be protecting it further as well. Um, your heart and their heart maybe is, uh, is already filled uh, with, the, with love for each other um, up in the heavens. Uh, maybe you are already married to each other. The universe has been protecting this connection. For majority of you, your connection could be very old with this person. Uh, but yes, I feel like, you know, there, there is a lot of protection here in this connection. Um, you and them, basically, uh, it's, it's more like, you know, you both are the missing piece of each other's puzzles, actually. It's, it's more of the that thing where you complete them, they complete you. Um, and there's a lot that you uh, have in common as well. Like, you know, there, there is a lot that you share, um, you know, uh, with each other. It can be in terms of... Uh, different things maybe the kind of relationships that you have been through maybe they also have been through those kind of things there could be some sort of similarities um within the family situations as well but i feel like you know this this uh, this connection seems to be protected uh in many varied ways so um yeah seems like you know this uh, whether you love each other right now whether they love you right now or they don't um maybe it's a new connection for some of you um but it seems like you know this connection is uh, beyond this lifetime um but yeah i feel like you know this eventually you will fall in love with each other and that is going to be kind of mutual uh there as well so let's see do they love you too let's see ten of wands six of cups this is a soulmate connection this is a soulmate connection uh you might be having um, on and off with each other or maybe there has been a cycle that you spent for this person already and uh, maybe now you really want to know do they love you yes they do um like i said earlier it's it seems like you know this connection um you you might be going through a phase where you have ended the connection right now you and them missing each other currently um they have been having sleepless nights uh thinking about you thinking about the love that you used to give to this person maybe right now they're indecisive about how they actually feel for you but yes this is a soulmate connection they do miss you um they want to be with you um whatever happened between the two of you maybe right now you are in detachment in separation uh no communication but yes they do love the way you love them let's see more cards here they are thinking about you as much as you think about them right now maybe um there is some sort of a time lapse going on here in this connection maybe you're not talking to each other there are certain delays in regards to this connection the way you want things to move forward maybe they are not moving forward that way maybe you want to make more memories with this person maybe it's not happening right now your person could be somebody who's staying away from you right now but at the same time yes they do have love and if you are unhappy with the current situation trust me they are also not satisfied uh they miss your love and they feel that they are right now blocking themselves from having the love that they love having in their life it's more of a self-imposed block that they have put on themselves right now but again like i said earlier um the divine is taking care of this connection so you have nothing to worry around it but yeah let's see con let's continue more uh, uh picking up more cards here 
do they love you too? Wow. I feel like, you know, um, your person could be somebody who's very egoistic as well right now. Maybe they are not coming forward. Maybe they are not ready to, uh, you know, um, uh, confess their feelings for you right now. They are trying to control it and it's going to get overwhelming for them. And I feel like, you know, um, slowly but surely, they will be feeling a certain kind of a, a pull, a certain kind of feeling for you which they never experienced before, which will basically make them kind of, you know, um, break free from the self-imposed block that they have around it. And they will be returning back to you. They will be rushing back to you to take the action that they are not choosing to take right now. Like I said earlier, under the deck, we do have the two of uh, pentacles. Under that, we do have the five of cups. You might have uh, um, had some sort of issues with each other. The love is pretty much mutual here. Plus, the divine is working in the connection as well. So I feel like, you know, yes, they do love you. But right now, maybe the, you guys are not talking to each other. Um, so yeah, let's see some messages from your person. Let's see what do they wish to say to you. I love the way you love me. It feels so right. So this person really enjoys getting the love you give to this person. Uh, let's see more cards here. Let's see what else we have. For some of you, your person could be dealing with some sort of a burden, some situations that they are dealing with right now. And maybe that's the reason why they are not giving into the connection completely right now. Um, maybe that's the reason why they have kind of, you know, pulled away from you. Uh, but this, this connection um, might have been affected by the addictions as well. Uh, the, when I say addiction, I don't mean the addiction to alcohol or something like that. It could be addiction, like, you know, maybe you are so much into that person and you are feeling addicted to that person. Maybe that had affected this connection very badly, if and only if you were loving this person more than you should have uh, before they could express themselves as well. Like, maybe you have pushed this person away because of your fearful thoughts around what if it, they don't love you back. So there could have been those kind of personal issues that you might have been having which has basically pushed your person away for some of you you might have to deal with certain uh, codependency issues before you could have them back uh, coming back to you it's more like you know maybe maybe you have to basically uh, control your emotions until unless they come forward with their emotions being expressed they love the way you love them but at the same time they have never expressed their love to you which is very important here in this connection so make sure you you know if uh, you have been giving so much to this person. Maybe it's time for you to kind of, you know, slightly pull away. Let's see one more card here. Um, for some of you, maybe your person's, um, you know, financial situation is going through a lot right now. Uh, they have to make some sort of... Uh, uh, they might have to choose a different path for themselves in, in terms of career. Uh, so maybe they are going through some tough uh, decisions around their work life right now as well, which could be affecting your love life with them as well. So again, um, you you know, maybe maybe right now you both are going through certain things on, on personal and individual levels. But like I said earlier, the connection has been uh, saved, protected by heavens. It will be protected in the future as well. But yes, it's very important for you to work on the things that you should be working towards to make sure that the connection is not being affected by any of the codependency issue coming from your end. Um, so yeah, let's see more cards here. Do they love you too? What can you expect? Oracle guidance around it. Communication is the key. Um, for some of you, you could be dealing with a Gemini as well. Plus, I feel like, you know, the communication and this connection has been affected a lot. And that has affected the connection in a very major, major way. The open communication is a must. The friendship is a must. The, the bond uh, needs a kind of a stable foundation to it, which could be built with the communication only. So maybe that is also missing here. But again, eventually, you and them are going to have that kind of connection together. Uh, show the world the real you for some of you it could be dealing with an Aquarius as well or for others of you the Aquarius time could be very significant in regards to this connection that you have with your person so it's very important for you to know that how um, you and them could be dealing with some personal issues right now which finally is about to reach the resolution for others of you, you might be dealing with a water sign itself as well um, now it's very important for you to look within 
to see if there are certain issues that you're currently feeling uh, around the situation, uh, which are fear-based. Maybe there are certain patterns that you leave, need to leave behind. Maybe there are certain uh, personal issues to find a resolution to before you could have the kind of love life that you desire with your person. I do see that this person really loves you, but at the same time, yes, they are purposely stopping themselves from coming forward towards you. But I do see that things will be changing in the future with this person. But at the same time, there are certain things that you need to work towards as well. Let me see, when, uh, when can you expect some major shift coming in this connection, which can get you what you want with them? When will that shift come in, in this connection between the two of you, where they would be more expressive, giving into the connection, exactly how it is meant to happen? The death, <clears throat> eight of pentacles, two of swords, Eight of Cups, Three of Cups, underneath the deck, we do have the Fool. I feel like you really have to stop believing and having faith around it. Forget about the worries, tensions that you have around this connection. Uh, try to work on yourself. Try to work on the uh, personal growth, resolving personal issues, confidence. Uh, as you do take those tiny bit steps, it was going to affect your love life in a major way. So you will be having the change, the shift that you desire in your love life. It might take certain, uh, you know, phases of your life. So, you, you know, you might have to go through some rough phases uh, before you could come with the, uh, with, the, with the desired outcome. But at the same time, it can be different for different fishies out there, depending on how um, quick you heal yourself, how quick you get yourself removed from that the space of being needy of this person to give you commitment um, or how quick your person basically heal from them from them uh, you know from from their own issues to give into the connection as well so it's going to be dependent on uh, all those things but yes i feel like you know um it's it's uh eventually you and this person will definitely be together so um yeah uh, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read if it helped you do like, share, and subscribe, and yeah, till I do the next read for you guys. Take care and bye-bye.